All right, good afternoon, everybody. We're back here at the Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. My name is Blake, and I'm here to show you another part of our Moat Marine Laboratory exhibit. So today we're talking about the invasive lionfish. So our invasive lionfish here is to discuss the threats that the lionfish have imposed down here in the Keys. Um, the lionfish is an invasive species for us here. And an invasive species is a species of animal that has been introduced through non-natural um, ways. So you know, by humans or what have you, uh, they have been introduced down here into the Florida Keys around the 1980s. And they have just been a detriment to our reefs down here. Um, they proliferated. They are eating native reef fishes, uh, and they are just causing terror down here on the reefs. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be feeding our four lionfish we have on exhibit here, and I'm going to be telling you a little bit about, more about the animals and their diets. So we're going to take a look at what we're feeding them today. Today they're getting a diet of frozen silver side fish, and it's just a type of bait fish, and it's been cut up. Uh, they each get two pieces uh, to help regulate their diet so that I know how much food that they're intaking. Um, and they each get target fed so that I'll make sure that each individual animal is eating and how much they're eating. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the lionfish is a venomous species. Uh, the spines along its back, uh, the dorsal spines, are venomous. So we take careful precautions when we're interacting with these animals because we don't want to get pricked. So I am going to go ahead and grab one piece of silver side with my forceps here and we'll Go ahead and put it in here. We'll see one of them take it. There we go. Now the lionfish sting is comparable to a bee sting. It affects some people other than more than others. It's usually not deadly. Um, for most people, it's just gonna ruin your day but still it's not it's not wise to be careless around them they eat quick I question, have I ever been pricked by a lionfish? I have not been pricked by a lionfish, and I don't intend to. I try and take a lot of precaution when I am have my arms or hands in the tank. Zebra turkey fish, yes. So they are called zebra turkey fish because that is what they're referred to over in Asian countries. The lionfish and zebra turkey fish. Same animal, different common names. Totally age 10, want to know if they are endangered. They are not endangered. We're actually trying to get rid of them here in the Florida Keys. So what we're doing is we're trying to remove them manually, having divers go down and spear them. And they actually eat them. They're a very delicious fish. So there's no limit on taking the lionfish down here in the Florida Keys. You can take as many as you want, as often as you want, because we want them gone. So you can see 
one of our lionfish didn't get his piece and it kind of fell down to the to the sand. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to fish it out later and get it fed to somebody. So, But they are happy and they are healthy. And they're sitting there at the top of the water thinking that they're going to get more food because this is... How did the lionfish get to the keys? Good question. A uh, question we had was how the lionfish got to the keys. So there's a lot of theories. Um, nobody is 100% certain on the exact time that the lionfish got here to the Keys. Uh, one of the theories was a hurricane that hit up in Miami in the 80s. Uh, they had a few lionfish on display at the Miami Seaquarium, and their lionfish got out. Uh, that could be one theory on how they they got here into the Florida Keys. Another theory is some people with home aquariums. They had, they bought some lionfish, and they got home one day, and the lionfish ate all their their beautiful, expensive fish. So what do they do? They go and they take the lionfish and they throw it in the ocean, where it's not native, and then the lionfish reproduces and makes more. And then a final theory is a container ship coming over from the Indo-Pacific, you know, it takes in bilge water over there and it comes over here into the Caribbean and it dumps its bilge water over here. Well, maybe some lionfish were in that bilge water and it, it brought them over here. Uh, but like I said, nobody is for sure certain on how the lionfish got here. But as you can tell, all three of the stories contained human interaction. So for the most part, the lionfish got here probably through human error, human carelessness. And they have just taken over the Florida Keys and the entire Caribbean area ever since. Have you ever eaten one? I, have I ever eaten lionfish? I have eaten lionfish. A lot of the restaurants down here in the Florida Keys well, maybe not a lot, but quite a few restaurants down here in the Florida Keys will actually serve it on their menu. And it is a very tasty fish. Um, I don't really like fish, but the lionfish, it's not fishy. It's got an excellent taste. It's good white fish. So I've actually gone down and I've speared some myself and filleted them up myself. And it is a good fish. Got to do what I can to take the lionfish off the beautiful Florida reefs. Uh, about when you're preparing the lionfish, uh, whether you have to remove any pieces specifically, um, just removing the barbs, that gets rid of all the ven venom. All the venom is contained in the, the spines along the, the dorsal fin, so that's along its back. So once you cut everything off and you skin it, uh, remove the scales just like a regular fish, then you have a nice good size fillet there. Um, these are about average size for a lionfish that you're going to see out on the reef. Uh, you'll see more larger ones and then you'll see smaller ones. The smaller ones tend to hang out in the mangroves but they can get larger than this. Can they coexist with any fish in tanks? Lionfish usually need to be in their own tank. That's why these guys are in their, their tanks by themselves. Uh, if we were to, say, put them over in the Gorgonian tank like we showed last week, they would wipe out all those fish overnight, basically. Um, they'll, they have a stomach bigger than their eyes. They will eat or try to eat anything that they can. Um, do they have any predators? Here in the Florida Keys, the lionfish do not have any predators. Uh, over in the Indo-Pacific, they're eaten by sharks and grouper. Um, but here in the Florida Keys, they don't have natural predators because they're not a natural occurring fish. So animals don't identify them as a source of food. They don't see them as prey. Uh, and there's been, you know, attempts to try and get animals to learn to identify them as food, but maybe eventually it'll work its way into the food chain. Ellen is asking about the crabs. Have you met the crabs? 
There are, we did upgrade our cleanup crew in this aquarium. So it's nothing too exciting for you Facebook Live viewers, but we put a few snails and a lone emerald crab into the tank. So he's a very small crab. I'd say he's about an inch long and he's emerald green. Um, but he's going to be he's going to be a master at hiding. He's got plenty of places to hide in here. And it's perfect because the lionfish won't eat those. They they don't predate on snails or crustaceans. So they're going to be perfectly fine in there. And what they're going to do is they're going to clean up the aquarium. They're going to eat any detritus, any food that settles on the sand bed, any algae that's growing on any of the fake coral. So they are a vital part of the aquarium. They help to keep it clean. There's a question if the lionfish can sting their own kind. The lionfish can actually sting their own kind. Um, we haven't had it happen in here. Um, but their barbs, you know, if they were to startle another one and they were to bump into it, they could sting their own kind. Unfortunately, I don't know what ha would happen with it. Alrighty, guys. Well, I thank you for joining us for another look into the Moat Marine Laboratory exhibit here at Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. I hope everybody is staying safe at home. Everybody is healthy. Um, so I believe we're going to be doing another video next week, same time, 1 o'clock. Uh, so tune in here at Florida Keys History and Discovery Center. My name is Blake. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Goodbye.